Welcome to lesson four of Dr. Hyman's 12-step guide to writing the research paper, the overview. This is step eight, develop the outline. The final outline is the final, the last blueprint or map for the paper. You have been building a research paper. You have gathered your sources, you have taken notes, and now you have the information needed to develop the final outline, which will be reflective of your research paper. Tips. When developing the final outline, use very specific language. You are in essence writing the paper. Decide on the type of outline you will develop. My suggestion, a sentence outline. And also you want to use the traditional elements of the sentence outline. This means that everyone will have at least a two and that every A will have a B. If you develop a sentence outline, use complete sentences throughout the outline. I have found that those very sentences will become possibly the topic sentence for each one of my paragraphs. Take your time as you write and develop the sentence outline. This is my sample sentence outline. The title of my topic, Rosa Parks Contributions to the Montgomery Bus Boycott of 1955. Now in the research process, I could have changed this, but I did not. So my topic, Rosa Parks Contributions to the Montgomery Bus Boycott of 1955. My Roman numeral one, the Montgomery Bus Boycott is a major American historical event. I want to tell my reader that it took place in Montgomery, Alabama. And then the day that it started, the boycott started on December the 5th, 1955, a sentence. And then I want to move my reader into Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was the human catalyst for the Montgomery bus boycott. And from there, I present my thesis. Rosa Parks made two significant contributions to the Montgomery bus boycott of 1955. Now I have a commitment to the reader. I have a commitment as a writer to myself as a reader. And that is to share those two contributions. So my first contribution in Roman numeral two is one of the contributions that Rosa Parks made to the Montgomery bus boycott is to give all Americans a voice to speak out against inequalities. And then my second contribution is represented in Roman numeral three. The second contribution Rosa Parks made to the Montgomery bus boycott is to help people understand the importance of quiet protests. And then my conclusion, my intent in this paper was to show the two important contributions Rosa Parks made to the Montgomery bus boycott of 1955. And now I am ready to write the rough draft of my paper. This is Dr. Hyman who loves all things writing.